welcome to my channel this is is great store and what i do i solve technical network problems and also provide very important information that you can make use of for you to have better performance in your technical and examinations so watching my video for the first time i want to ask that you subscribe to this channel put on notification bell so whenever i upload a new video you'll be notified and help me share my videos with your friends who are technical drawing students and very important as a technical drawing student you need to practice this subject as i usually say is a practical subject you need to practice for you to master it and for you to be able to solve any problem that may come your way when it comes to technical drawing. Now, the question that you uh, I have here uh, it has to do with uh, 2022 uh, WAEC GCE, and it was done some uh, some days ago, about three days now. And I want to answer this question. This is question one, so I want to show you how this problem should be solved and uh, let's read the question as we have here that the sketch in figure one shows the intersection of two unequal prisms at right angle so this is the sketch that they are referring to then here we have that draw full size in first angle orthograph projection the question a complete front elevation question b plan question c end left end elevation and question d we have development of part a using xx as seen so this is part a and this is where we are asked to use as the same for the survey development of this part a now um from what we have here we have that the length from year to year for this big prism the length from year to year is 80 millimeters and this time from year to year, with the term, the, uh, the, the, with the term, term uh, 50 across corners, 50 across corners, let's pay attention to that. And also, uh, the length of this uh, pipe from year to year is 20 millimeters, and distance across corner is 30 millimeters, and distance from year to year is 25 millimeters. So, we are going to, uh, we are going to, put all this together so for us to answer question a b c and d so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to divide this video into four so for each of the questions so that we'll be able to concentrate on each of them and understand each of them so that's what i'm going to do here so let's start so first thing that we're going to do is to replicate this and to do that so we need first of all need to draw so horizontal center line horizontal center line so as we have here all right so at this end here i will draw a vertical center line all right so as we have that the distance across corner the distance across corner for the horizontal pipe is 50 millimeters. So half of 50 is 25. I will take a measurement of 25 millimeters and I will draw a circle. All okay. So I'll draw a circle like this. Then I put the big point on my compass here. I make an arc here and here. So what I want to do is the hexagonal the, the uh, hexagonal base of the prism. Okay, so then I'm going to join this together. I'm going to join this together so to form an hexagon. Okay. So how am I able to know that this is an hexagonal prism? The reason is that they mention distance across corners. So that made me to know that this is an hexagonal prism. So the next thing that I'm going to do here is that I will draw horizontal line from here to this side. I will also draw horizontal line from this corner to this side. Then from this point, I will also draw, draw horizontal line 
Also from here, I will draw a horizontal line like this. Okay, so with what we have done here, so I'm going to move away a little bit and then I will draw a vertical line. Then I will take a measurement of 80 millimeters from here. I'll take a measurement of 80 millimeters. Okay, so this is 80. So I will draw a vertical line here, like this. All right, so then I will divide this 18 to two equal parts. That is 40 millimeters here in the middle. So I will draw a vertical center line. I draw a vertical center line. All right, so with what I've done here, so next thing that I'm going to do is that I will come up to draw the vertical pipe or vertical prism, so which intersects this horizontal one. So I will come up and then I will draw horizontal center line here. So that one is also an hexagon, as we are told that the distance across corner is 30 millimeters. So I will divide 30 by 2, that is 15. So I will take a measurement of 15 millimeters at radius. I will put a big point here and I will draw a circle. So I will draw a circle like this. So this is the circle. So I put the pinpoint on my compass here and I make an arc here, make an arc down here and then I will put it at this point. Okay, so here I will make an arc here and I will make an arc here. Alright, so I will join this together. I join this together. Okay. All right, so then the next thing I'm going to do here, so the next thing that I'm going to do here is that I'm going to number uh, this point. So I will number this point as one. So this corner on this, and I will number this as one prime. So I will number this as two. So and I will number this as two prime. So I will call this three. And I'll call this three prime. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do here, so I will number this as one, and this should be one prime. So this should be two, and this should be two prime. So this should be three, and this should be three prime. Okay. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is that I will draw a vertical line to draw the vertical pipe. So from this point one, I will draw a vertical line down down here so meeting this pipe here and then I will also draw from here then I will draw from 2 prime so 2 and 2 prime they are the same point to so circumference of the circle I will draw it in here and also from 3 prime I will draw a vertical line so meeting entering here so now they want us to locate the point of that they, 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 they want us to draw the line of interpenetration of the two pipes or the if it's cylinders that means we have to draw the curve of interpenetration of the two pipes but here we have two hexagonal prisms so we need to obtain the line of interpenetration of the two pipes that's what we want to do here and to do that is very simple so here we have a horizontal line one vertical line one they intersect here they intersect at this point also we also have one here at this point so they intersect here then we have a uh, horizontal line two so horizontal line two horizontal line two and vertical line two they intersect here at this point they intersect at this point so this point also we can also take it as two so this is what just what we need i just take it as two so we have this this four points so we have to join these four points together. We join them together. So this is it. So we connect this together. Then 
we will also connect this together then we connect this together all right then we are told that the length of this vertical pipe is 20 millimeters so i will just take a measurement of 20 millimeters here this is 20 so here i will draw so horizontal line from here to here all right so this line i will make it a thick line we also make this line a thick line from here to here so this line will be a thick line from here to here and this line will also be a thick line from here to here all right so also on this horizontal prism so we can see this corner so from here i'll make this a thick line from here to here we can also see this corner here this corner we can see it so i will also make this a thick line from here to here so also here so from here so i make this line a thick line so this line i make it thick from here to here also i will make this thick from here to here then i will make this base part to be drawn thick also here will be drawn thick all right so question a has been answered as we are asked to draw complete front elevation so this is the complete front elevation that we have to produce and we are done with question a let's meet on question b thank you